Alright guys, welcome back to Wintermute. So this is hopefully the conclusion of episode one of Wintermute. So um, we've pretty much gotten to just about the end of the main storylines. And um, at this point, we really just have the side missions and things that we'll try to wrap, wrap up in this episode. Um, and so to get started, um, if you recall from the end of the last episode, one of the things that we needed to do is snare a rabbit. Um, fortunately, it looks like in the night. One of them finally managed to walk through the <laughs> the uh, snare here, so we did accomplish that. I don't think I really need to do anything else with him now that he's been caught, so it's just like basics of survival. Um, yeah, so snare rabbit. Yep, it's complete there at the top. So we still need to get all of those different, um, I guess, medicines and and the bandages that we can create the teas and basically the old man beard um we need to finish crafting those so that's kind of what we'll be working through and then um obviously we got the one added that's just the uh the need to run up to lily's grave so um i think we're done down here um honestly i don't think we need to hang out down here anymore we we snare the rabbit um i don't need his body for anything um, so yeah, we'll head up towards the, uh, the grave, um, I should say the graveyard where Lily's buried. We'll head that direction and then we'll hopefully come across, you know, the rest of the rose hips and things we need. Okay. There's a wolf a bit closer than I'd like him to be, but that's okay. I do see old man's beard right there across the road. So we'll grab that on our way. And uh, really what I'm mostly looking for is rose hips. I think we've got enough of the mushrooms prepared. It's just the rose hips that we still need to track down quite a few of. And then of course we'll need to get a fire going somewhere at some point. And uh, yeah, I see he's noticed us. Yeah, he's working this way, so we'll skip those ones that were right there, and we'll go back here to grab this old man's beard. I think I just need to make one more of these, so this hopefully will get us there. Come on. Yeah, and thanks for tuning into the episode, guys. Um, as always, appreciate you being here. Um, if you're new here and checking out one of my episodes for the first time, welcome as well. I appreciate you being here just as much. Um, yeah, so let's see. I I think he's still pretty far away, but let's grab these rose hips. Just grab them all. I don't know how many I still need at this point, but we'll just grab everything we can. And there's some more. I guess we could stop for a second here and prepare him as long as he's nowhere in sight. Yeah, he turned around. He's going over there. So let's do that really quickly. So I have enough for the old man's beard. So that should take care of that part. And the rose hips. I think we need at least two more of those. Ooh, that, that wolf came really close. <laughs> I'm not even going to look over at him. I'm just going to go. Can I skate on here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was watching in the background uh, as we were making their, the rose hips and he... Uh, <laughs> zoomed over by us. I'm surprised he didn't just attack us while we were uh, hanging out there. Alright, let's take a look really quick. So I have Old Man's Beard done. I need to do the Rish Rushi Tea and the Rose Hip Tea. But I need, I think, one more. He can't. Yeah, he's gonna run away here in a second. No, you can't get up here. Stop that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I need one more. Uh, set of prepared rose hips yeah so which means how many do we have we probably need to find at least one more two more bushels of them did he run away yet or is he still just hanging out down there he's just hanging out down there go away my friend oh he's i better get away from him <laughs> well, let's just do this i have plenty of rounds for this so yeah there he goes Got him. Oh no, I missed. I thought I had him for a second. Alright, well, let's keep moving though. Oh, did I reload that? Probably should do that. Oh, 
I figure we got plenty of uh, plenty of rounds for that thing. We might as well use one or two. All right, so we need to keep our eyes open for gross hips and uh, wolves, obviously. And we'll work our way over to Lily's grave. I'm trying to remember if there's any rose hips in town. I think there might be kind of in that area that's burned out. So we'll check there for sure. And then we may just go back to Grey Mother's and see if we can just cook up the tea on her uh, her stove. Or her uh, fire that she's got burning. So I'm hoping this will be a quick episode, but we'll see. Just have these last few things to, to iron out. Of course it never goes as easy as you think it's going to though, so we could be in for <laughs> a long one. It's hard to say. Uh, yeah, so I was thinking there might be some rose hips through here, but I'm not seeing any. So maybe we'll find some out towards the uh, graveyard. All kinds of old man's beard hanging around. So no rose hips, but no wolves either, so it's not all bad. There's a wolf up there on the left, kind of dead center of screen now. Need to keep an eye on him, but we'll cut to the right and avoid him. I don't think there's any wolves over here, but we'll still need to be careful. One thing I don't see, though, is any uh, more rose zips. So that's potentially a problem. We just need to find some. Um, and then we'll, we'll be set. I really don't need that many. There might be some behind the church on that little uh, pond that's over there. So we might check there as well. There could be some in the, uh, the graveyard up here as well. What's up, Mr. Wolf? You're going to be able to get through right here. Yep, there's some right there. Oop, I should have figured. have to go around it. All right, let's grab those really quick and let's see if that gives us enough. Yep. Okay, so craft those. Perfect, and then now all we really need is uh, fire. Uh, oh, we need to actually, where's our grave at? Was that it right there? Lilith Barker. Alright, cool. So let's back head back towards her house and then try and make use. Actually, mm, uh, there's nowhere over there to start a fire. We could just, I guess, start one right here. I don't have a ton of wood, though. Let's maybe just go down here and chop up some of these trees and we'll just actually just start one out here. Do I have a pot, though? Nope, I don't have a pot. I left all the pots I had behind. So we need to go to her house. Uh, no, no big deal. hoping to be able to just use her fire that she's got burning kind of always to cook the tea but we'll see I should probably grab a piece of firewood or two along the way um, just in case so terrible though that it's going to take me a while to get over there. 
It's okay, though. We'll enjoy a nice stroll. Where's that wolf at? He sounds fairly close. Just go ahead and try and run. It doesn't help. I forgot that we were overweight too, so that doesn't help our situation right now. And I don't see any near our wolf friends, so we should be good. Let's just get inside and get this tea going, and then we should be just about all set. Okay. Let's see. So, can I cook here? I honestly don't know. Could I have taken those boots? I didn't know she gave those to us. <laughs> Did I miss that, guys? Uh, let's see how they are. Uh, they're actually pretty nice boots, so we'll take them and we'll leave the combat boots. I just must have told, can I take your rifle? Will you give me that? <laughs> uh, homemade soup, I didn't realize you could. Okay, yeah, I can cook here. I just need to go get one of my pots, so let's go get one off the stove top. And we'll take one of them with us, because I didn't realize uh, that we had left it, all of them behind. So we'll put... Oh, I can do two. Let's go get another one, so that makes it a little bit quicker. Ah, come on. There we go. Alright, so we'll cook up all of our tea, and then hopefully we'll be pretty close to being done. this winter forecast read text uh, winter wear weather warning heavy snow and record low temperatures expected she won't like it one bit but we'll need to check on her someone has to so that must be in reference to gray mother oh is that an actual ah shoot that's another uh, side quest we need to take care of. I'm glad we, glad we spotted it then. Um, so we need to add some additional calories and food, basically, for her. Uh, no big deal. I think we have plenty. Unfortunately, though, I've kind of left some behind. Oh, that's fine. I didn't mean to drink that, but it's okay. Take it. Let's keep cooking our fuel, or our tea. Okay. So let's see what we have for food to leave in here. I did stuff those two pieces of deer in here. That's quite a bit of food. Plus it's kind of going out of out of uh, being really able to eat it. And I don't, where did I do I dropped a bunch of food that would have been handy right now. I didn't realize that we still had a quest for her. So transfer, transfer. Um, let's give her these peaches. Let's give her the crummy MRE. And let's give her some of these granola bars. What's that put her at? Oh, it doesn't tell you anymore. Oh, you probably have to check it through the actual quest. That's kind of a bummer. Um, let's see. Side quest. Extra supplies. So she's got... We need about 7,000 more calories. And um, we need to get after the wood as well. Take it and... Take it. So let's do rose hips, and do I have one more rose hip to cook? I think so. Yep. Okay. So let's grab all of this wood, and let's get the coal too. I don't know if the coal counts or not towards like firewood for her, but we'll try it. Yep. We'll take it, and we'll put it in there regardless. So how much longer on this stuff? Let's just pass the time. Take it. Is it done? Yep. Take it. 
So that should. Yeah. All right. So that one's done. I'm not sure I can carry much more. It's not that bad. All right, and that completed the survival school. That's good. All right, well, let's go out here and see what we can do for firewood. I'm trying to think, where did I leave all of that food that I dropped? Because I was thinking we were going to be moving soon. I wonder if I left that in our house or not. All right, it's coal count. Let's find out those two. Oops. All right, so what does that give us? on her objectives extra supplies okay so we're more than halfway there so we just need to collect a little more the biggest thing is going to be the food we may have to go down the hill and like slaughter all of those bunny rabbits <laughs> unfortunately uh let's before we move on though gosh where did i leave all that food at i'm trying to remember let's make sure it's not in here before we like totally clear out of the area Remember I said I thought this would be a quick episode and they've added a whole nother <laughs> side, quest, side quest to our uh, our mission here. So no big deal though, we'll, we'll knock it out. All right, I may have left it upstairs when I slept up there. So we'll check up there and if it's not there, then we'll we'll bail out. Um, nope, not in here. Okay, I don't remember where it was. It might've been down at the farmstead building as well. That could be where we left it. It's not in her place, nope. Uh, I didn't put it in here, did I? Uh, yep, there it is. All right, so let's grab like all of this and we'll just stuff it in her fridge. It's all pretty low condition stuff anyway, so. Stuff we had already accepted that we were leaving behind. I don't think it's gonna get us all the way where we need to be, but we can always, uh, I have the one rabbit that's dead down the hill. We could always go get him. All right, so let's leave you. You, you, you. Maybe a couple more granola bars. And it's dog food. All right, what are we at? So we need just like 3,400 more calories. Can we make that happen? I may leave the MRE because it's 1,700. And it's another 1,500. Starting to get to the point where I'm giving her more food than I really want to. <laughs> uh, all right, where are we at now? I don't know if I can take it back. I bet I could take it back. We could always find out. Okay, so we satisfied the food. Let's see if I can get my MRE back at least. I'm not sure. No, nope, you can't take out of here. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. So firewood, that's our concentration right now. I'm glad we went back inside to check um, on the uh, food before I like just totally went out searching somewhere else. All right, so hopefully maybe we can chop up some planks that are like right over here or something and put that in her, her bin. And that way we don't have to trek too far to find wood. So, the, oh, I'm not seeing much right now, so, can't cut any of this up, keep an eye out for the wolves through here. Sometimes there's been like up to two of them and right now I don't see any. Uh, there's some planks maybe, uh, those don't look like the kind we can chop up though. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I, I guess the coal counted. I kind of forgot about that. Let's grab... Can I drop you up? Yep. So let's kind of just like work our way back through town and see if there's little things like that we can cut up. I'm really trying not to like have to go very far to do this. It'd be nice. Make you wonder why she can't just get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, she's blind. Uh, probably not gonna go chopping a lot of firewood. You never know though. Crazier things have happened. All right, let's give us four and we'll hit the other box too and then hopefully that'll be enough. 
Alright, let's run back to her place, drop that stuff off, and see what that gets us. We're gonna need to eat some. Well, unfortunately for you, we just gave away like half of our food, so... Might be a little hungry. Alright, let's throw this wood in here and see what that gets us, how close we get to being done. Um, where is the wood? It's up here. And the coal. Oops. Alright. What does that get us to? Uh, just a little bit more. So, where are some logs that I can chop up? There's probably some back over towards this direction. And that woodlot area, I bet there's some logs over there. There might even be some right over here, too. Uh, nope, just a bunch of sticks. Which I could go to picking up sticks, but obviously chopping some wood would be a lot faster. I have to stop and pick up a million sticks. And I can already see at least one log across the bridge here, so... We will uh, head that direction. What time of day is it? Wow, it's almost night time again. This day kind of flew by. Oh, cool. So we just unlocked one of our badges. Um, you guys heard my backstory. I think I've probably said it in a couple different episodes across some different series, but uh, I had a bunch of the badges at one point and uh, my uh, save file got corrupted and I lost like all the all the ones I had already unlocked and the progress towards the one I hadn't, so um, pretty much didn't start tracking after him again and, uh, until I started the channel, so that's kind of our first one down. Alright. This should be enough wood. If this isn't enough wood, I'm just gonna have to tell her to figure it out herself. <laughs> Let's just get back over there, and we may just go ahead and sleep. Uh, maybe I don't know. We'll see what we're what we're feeling like when we get there. We could. Uh, I think we're supposed to be heading towards the climbing area, so we could like go to the gas station and sleep there tonight, or um, even in that little like camp office kind of spot. It's just a little bit up the hill. Could go there tonight. All of that's really pretty close to her house, so see what this gets us. I'm glad that though we still had like all that food and stuff uh, on hand. Uh, that really was pretty clutch. Otherwise, I mean, we probably would have had to, like I said, go down and just like massacre all of those rabbits to get the meat, and uh, you know, hope that we found some additional food somewhere, or pretty much depleted our own food, which would have been a bummer. All right, all of this is going in there. It's got to be it. Oh, not yet. Oh, just a little bit more. Alright, let's find some sticks. She's gonna have to settle for sticks. <laughs> I don't know what the 36 represents. Like, is that hours of fire? Or, you know, what is what does that 36 mean? Hopeful this will be enough. Let's go ahead and use that hatchet. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. Another one. Yeah, we may end up staying at her house. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, this is enough. Uh, get out of my way. Hopefully this does the trick. Finally. And then this should be our last side mission. Unless they spring another one on us. Come on. Alright, there it is. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hit the road. So, side quests, one last thing. Fill it. Oh, I gotta go back to her and talk about it. I didn't know that. I'm glad I checked. All right, we'll do that quickly. That's actually okay, because I needed to come back for one of these pots at least, and I'd forgotten about that again, so. Take it. And let's chat. I found Lily, your daughter. She has her pearls now. They were the last gift I gave her on her 16th birthday. She wanted to leave Milton to be free. She had grown up here in the mountains, a climber. She wanted to leave to summit all the tallest peaks on Great Bear. I was afraid to let her go. Fought bitterly. And she left. She died out there in the mountains. In the wilderness. Losing a child is... It's like losing your own life. You have a kind heart, Mackenzie. But it's a heavy one. Go. Find your friend. Use Lily's climbing gear and her map. And maybe then her death won't feel... so empty. Thank you. I'll come back for you. You've done a lot for me, Mackenzie. I won't forget about you. All right, done with old gray mother. So yeah, it's a kind of a bummer. Um, her story, ooh, do I want to take that as well? Oh, she threw this out here too. Let's take that and let's put that on maybe. It's warmer overall, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it and we'll leave the ski jacket. Can't flip flop these, oh I can. Okay, I don't know if that really made a difference or not, <laughs> changed in which order they were in, but. Um, all right, let's eat the soup maybe. And then we'll depart officially from her place. So we're a little overweight, but that's okay. We're not going to climb tonight. We'll try to get to either the gas station or, um, like I said, that little camp office area. I'm not sure exactly what you would call it, other than a camp office. Comparing the two. I think we've got them in the right order that we would want them. We should be able to make it to that uh, little building just fine tonight. And then uh, we'll sleep through the night and then climb down the ropes in the morning. Those wolves that were here in the middle of town kind of just disappeared. They're probably all right back there at that little pond, but they're not bothering us anymore, so that's nice. And I don't remember how far exactly we have to go to end the episode. If we have to go all the way to the next region, or if just like getting down there settles it. I honestly don't remember. Um, okay, so we should have been able to make it to the gas station or the upper area just fine, but it's getting super foggy. And the only concern with the fog really is not so much getting lost, but accidentally walking into a waiting wolf somewhere, so just need to be extra careful. Yes, the gas station. 
yep, to my left, and then where I want to go is just a little bit further up the hill. So ideally, if I could get out of here, yeah, and go up that sidewall kind of way. What is all that? Did I do that? I must have. Let's take all this, and we might start a fire. I don't remember dropping all of these, but I suppose I did. Alright, my screen's doing the deal. Alright, did we get it all? Just a couple more. Okay, maybe we'll have ourselves a nice little fire tonight. But yeah, I want to get out of this ditch. That way we're... If there is a wolf in there, then we've got just the natural, like, height advantage on him. Being up here. Versus down there. And then... I don't see him. Last time he was like right down by that truck eating a deer or something. But I don't see him now. So we should be good to just go right up this hill. Right up this hill and call it a night. Um, maybe. <laughs> okay, we just had the wrong angle. That's right there. You can see it now. Yeah, what would you call this little building? I think it's just like a camp office. Alright, so we'll sleep here tonight, and then in the morning we'll go ahead and move forward with climbing. Uh, let's take a few extra minutes to chop up this fur. That way we, we know we have a long enough fire to make it through the night. I think we'd probably be okay sleeping without starting a fire, but it's nice to nice to have regardless. Um, so the magnifying glass is definitely not going to work. All right, let's throw just about all the thank goodness for that wood we've got at it. I'd be tempted to boil some water or something. But we're already going to have to lose some weight before we try to climb down there tomorrow, so it's not really worth boiling the water because we may just have to leave it behind anyway. Let's gotta go. eat some sardines. We'll call this good, and then we'll drink water. How much water do we have? Ooh, we don't have a ton. Let's drink the sodas first. I would like to have some more water, but... Mm, I still go back to the... Having to climb down that rope in the morning. Yeah, we're still overweight. So let's go ahead and sleep, and then we'll figure that out in the morning. There goes the fire. We should be just fine, though. Yep. All right. Good to go. So let's... Hmm. What can we leave? Let's take a look. Oh, that climbing rope. If we have to deploy that climbing rope, man, that makes me wish I would have made water. Oh, no. Don't blizzard on me. Yeah, now I wish we would have made some water because I forgot we were carrying around an 11-pound climbing rope. So as soon as we drop that, we would have that extra uh, carry weight to have carried more water. But that's okay. We don't have much further to go. Let's make sure one last time before we do this that we've got all these side missions done. Yep. And main missions... Go to the climbing area. Alright, so let's throw the rope out on here. I have a bad feeling I'm never going to see this place again. Mm, you're probably right. And sure enough, we've got a full-blown blizzard coming in, but it's alright. Let's just get down. We still may be able to get out of Milton before it really hits. Hit stop. Um, okay. What the hell? I guess that rope was older than it looked. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just like sitting to myself, uh, or thinking to myself sitting here like, it kind of seems like it was unnecessary, but who knows. So find our way through the mountain, uh, 
old Methuselah, I think is his name, is up here waiting for us. Just kind of slowly gather some sticks and less in case we need to start another fire somewhere down the line. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. So we got a dead deer. What's up, friend? How goes it? So, we meet again. Is this what you do? Hang around campfires and share wisdom? These are confusing times. Let me see if I can help you make sense of them. I am an old man. I've seen many things. Some would say too many. I've seen this happen before. We've sinned. Now we're paying the price. Are you talking about religion? Not religion. Redemption. Is this about the lights in the sky? The lights in the sky are a reckoning. The wonder of humanity and all its creations laid bare. So we won't stick around here too long. We'll let him finish this spiel and then we'll go on. Whose warnings? Mother Nature's. The signs were there for those willing to see them. This has all happened before. Soon we'll all be tested. We'll have to choose how far we'll go to survive. What do you mean this has happened before? Big change is coming. Are you ready to face it? I'm no hero. I'm just looking for someone. Doing my best to survive in the meantime. Perhaps. Yet you take the role of the avenging angel, choosing who will live and who will die. Avenging angel? What? You talking about the convict? How do you know about that? Was it easier to do it, thinking nobody would ever know? The guy was a killer. If I let him go, he'd have killed again. Or worse. Yeah, that's I true. World a favor by putting him down. I think I agree with Mackenzie on that one. You might have. But die by the sword could be a tough philosophy for a civilization that's just been undone. Mm. Look, we've mm. lived through lots of power so. outages, and the thing is, the lights always come back on. You might dispel the darkness at times. The light is never coming back. Good luck, old man. Enjoy your apocalypse. You keep your luck, stranger. I have a feeling you're going to need it. What do you guys think of old Methuselah here? Is he, uh, he like supposed to be a god or something? Can I take his rabbit? I'm gonna just borrow that from you, sir. <laughs> uh, we'll put that to use. Yeah, so we need to head up that other rope up there. I'm, not, I'm actually just going to head and eat that rabbit. Thanks for the bite to eat, sir. Yeah, I'm just curious to know what your guys' opinions are uh, about him. Without getting too deep, try to keep things light on the channel, but... Uh, He's obviously been added by Hinterland for some reason. Alright, so we need to save up our stamina here for a second so we can climb this rope. Fortunately, it's not a very long one. Am I good on weight? Yeah, just fine on weight. I guess I could have made some water at his fire too. That's okay though. If I need to, I'll just drop and start a fire somewhere. Alright, we should be good to climb now. Let's go for it. Oh, 
Like I said, I'm pretty sure I've saved, uh, or not saved, but not killed uh, Hobbs in probably every other time I've played through this, and this is probably the first time I killed him, but <laughs> I don't know. I just don't feel too bad about it, honestly. Like Mackenzie said, you know, he was a convicted killer. He killed some more people, tried to kill Astrid. Um, you know, I don't think that was going to stop at all, so... Um, maybe it was a little more brutal than he might have deserved, although it sounded like he burned a bunch of people alive. I don't know. I don't feel too bad about it, honestly. Alright, so we should be close to getting out of here. Just back through here a ways. Another deer. Could use the meat off of that, but I still think we're carrying plenty of food at this point. I don't think we need to worry about stopping to harvest that deer or anything like that. So let's just, let's just keep pushing. Let's get through here. to the cave. Yeah, there it is. Alright, we are just about through out of Milton. Next up is uh, Mystery Lake. So, let's head through. Oh, cool. You can see the plane from here. I never realized that before. I wonder if you, you could probably do that in survival mode as well. I just never have noticed it and just happened to right now. Alright, let's go through here. Um, so, I don't know, we might be able to get a little ways without lighting the lantern, I'm not sure. Let's just, actually, let's just go ahead and do it. That way we can all see pretty well. Okay. So let's get through here. good music set in the mood I keep going back and forth on like whether or not I would want the music to uh, be present in survival mode um, which of course right now it's not but it might not be a bad thing I would probably tone it down quite a bit like the volume like, I wouldn't want it to be like so present that that's like all you can really focus on is the music like right now you know, it's it's hitting me. I'm I'm hearing it. I'm acknowledging it. I don't think I would want that in survival mode. If it was like in the background enough that where, you know, if you think about it, you're hearing it. But most times, it's just kind of adding to the experience. Then I don't think I'd have a problem with it. But I don't know for sure. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Music, yay or nay? I think I asked that same question in the last episode too, so um, I have not released that one yet um, here as I'm recording this, so um, if you have already answered it, um, <laughs> I guess uh, feel free to answer or not answer that one again. Totally up to you. Alright, here we go. Kill this and walk on out of this place. That's the end of episode one, guys. So, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out with me for for episode one. Um, obviously, enjoy playing it by all means. Um, we will uh, probably just jump almost right into um, a series with episode two, and I'd really like to get through them all before um, you know episode four drops, which they haven't given us an official date on that yet. So. Um, I've kind of been doing every, I don't know, two or three days for this series, um, with a new episode. So, um, 
I would just kind of probably expect to do the same thing with episode two and episode three. Um, yeah, and then hopefully by the time we get through everything, maybe episode four will be like, you know, coming up just just super, super soon. So, yeah, um, you know, you can hang out and watch the credits if you want. Otherwise, uh, I appreciate you guys for all uh, tuning in. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, would obviously invite you to go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, though, guys, I will catch you in the next one.